Okay, so we are coming at you guys again in not my car. This is actually a loaner that I have while well, my car gets a new back seat because there was some stitching right about here that was missing and uh, they finally got that seat in. So I'm getting a new back seat. But while I had this loaner, I had some things I had to say and review. But today is gonna be a little bit different. I have never actually been in a car with the cream interior I believe I have with the tan, but not the cream. So the cream premium interior is the same feel and everything as the white interior that I have, just different color. But Tesla has taken it a step further and added some things that are not normally white in the white premium interior, but they now have made them cream for the cream premium interior. So I wanna go over the cream and just tell you how I feel about it because there's some things that I like, some things that I don't like, and that is what today's video is gonna be all about. So first and foremost, the seats, they feel amazing. They are the same feel, they are the same material as the white premium interior, they're just colored cream. So really nothing bad there. The back seats, everything is basically the same in the back. The front seats are the same. The door panel is the same with one exception. Instead of black Alcantara, they opted to give you a cream colored Alcantara where the place you'd put your hand in to close the door is. So there is that slight difference. The big difference ends up being when you come and look at the dash and the center console. So in my 100D, I had one of the earlier white interiors for Model S non-performance. And so the dash actually is white on the left and the right side, whereas the new ones are black, much like Scott's are. A big, big difference though is the center console. In both the white and the black interior, it has black sides, but they took it a step further with the cream interior and actually made cream sides to the middle console, which I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of. I actually kind of like the black there, but I will say any bright interior color really just lightens it up, makes it just feel that much bigger. The black can sometimes feel a little tight, especially even in the garage when you have lights on. It's sometimes hard to see the floor even. And so another thing Tesla did that this is where I kind of get lost a little bit is the cream floor mats and the cream carpet. So in some places this might be great, but I live in Colorado. Colorado, it snows, you get all this road grime and stuff from parking lots, dirt, all that on your shoes, and then you bring it right into the car. Now I will say this is a loaner, so people normally won't treat loaners like they treat their own cars, unfortunately, just the way it is. I treat it just like I would treat my own car, so I make sure that if I have a lot of dirt or something on my shoes, I obviously don't bring that in. That being said though, this has 8,000 miles on it, so it's been around a little while. And the cream carpet, you can kind of see some dirt and everything on it and it does vacuum right up, but it is there. I would have much rather to see a black floor mat. They could have kept with the cream carpet, but a black floor mat, because that will hide a bunch of stuff. Although that would look kind of odd. I, I think that's probably the route I would have gone. Now, if you put all weather floor mats in this, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. I am a huge fan of the white. Fortunately though, they don't do white carpet because that's just asking for bad things. And they don't even do the white of the center console or the dash anymore, which I really like the dash white pieces like I had in my car. So I'm not sure why they took those away. Maybe they'll come back, maybe they won't. I don't quite know. But I just wanted to go over those things with you because I know a lot of you ask me how my white seats hold up. And I mean, my white seats I haven't had a problem with and these cream ones that are on a loaner vehicle with 8,000 plus miles, are holding up fantastic, absolutely zero stain on them. So I will say the material they're using is fantastic. It's just the, the carpet and the floor mats are what's throwing me off being cream colored. If they were black, I really think this would flow beautifully, but being cream just scares the crap out of me. Now, it might be something that works for you, especially if you're in a climate where you don't get all this crap on the road, you don't get a lot of dirt or anything, it might be great. And I mean, even that, they are holding up very well, but I would have liked to see black there. Let me know in the comment section below what you prefer. Do you mind a cream floor mat and cream carpet? Is that something that bothers you or are you perfectly cool with it? Let me know. As always though, if you are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. If you're looking for a new or inventory Model S or X, 
or even a performance model three now, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below and at the top of our website. Using it will actually get you free unlimited supercharging for the life you own the vehicle, which is an awesome perk, especially if you do a lot of road trips. And in using it, you will definitely help out the channel. So any support is greatly appreciated. And anyone that does use our code will be invited out for when we take delivery of our next gen roadster. We'll have a big delivery party. We'll be renting out a local drag strip. Should be a great time. We'll do test rides, test rides, because really without your support, none of this would be possible. So I can't thank you guys enough. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other videos. We'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. What it is, what it could be. My imagination runs fast. Only if you're coming with me.